Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Mufida and I would like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my body care routine for hyperpigmentation. If you're new here, I've uploaded two other videos concerning body hyperpigmentation and the products that I find really, really useful, the products that I've actually seen changes with, some of my favorite products, how to address various concerns when it comes to hyperpigmentation, because I know the girls want flawless skin. I know right now it's almost summer and everybody wants to have flawless skin because girls are gonna be outside. And I haven't seen a lot of videos on YouTube talking about hyperpigmentation of the body, just the face. I found that really interesting because a lot of us deal with that. With regards to some of the comments you guys left on my last video, I'm not alone in this. A lot of us deal with body hyperpigmentation. So yeah, if you wanna see how this video goes down, carry on watching and let's get right into it. First of all, I am not a professional. I am a skincare junkie. I go through a lot of products and I find that some of them help, some of them are just overhyped. Not every product works for everybody. If you find something that works for you, please stick to it. Secondly, I shower twice a day. I live in Africa, Ghana, which is almost always hot and humid. When I wake up in the morning, I usually work out and then I shower, go about my day. When I come back home in the night, I do my nighttime body care routine. So I divide my products into two products that are suitable for using at night and products that are suitable for using during the day in this video however I don't want it to be too long so if you guys end up enjoying this video I'm gonna be putting my morning body care routine out there this video is gonna be addressing my body hyperpigmentation routine which I usually do at night because most of these products would make your skin sensitive to sunlight even though I don't show a lot of skin I just feel like some of my girls out there do like to show skin and if you are planning on using any of these products or planning to adapt to this routine i suggest that you do it at night yeah so i hope that that makes sense i'm gonna be dividing it into two categories which is what i do in shower and what i do out shower contrary to the fact that i showed you guys so many products i don't use all those products as a goal i finished using some products and some days i just want to switch up and change up some of the products that i'm using but all the products that i showed you guys in my previous videos are amazing hands down amazing and they really really work so yeah let's get into it so first of all what i like to do when i get into the shower the first thing i like to do is to like do my oral hygiene before i start doing my oral hygiene which is brushing my teeth flossing scraping my tongue you know all the good stuff i like to go in with my koji san skin lightening soup this is what it looks like i got this three in one pack i'm currently using one at the moment i have two in here the main ingredient or the active ingredient in this soap is kojic acid which is amazing for fading body hyperpigmentation and i can attest to the fact that it really really does help so yeah i just wet my soap and then i rub it in my palm and what i do is i rub it under my armpits my knees my elbows and i just leave it there for the time being while i do my oral hygiene so that the soap gets the chance to you know work its magic on the places that i suffer from hyperpigmentation i heal with hyperpigmentation that is why I'm so concerned about hyperpigmentation because first of all sometimes I hurt myself I'm really really clumsy and I have a cat that likes to scratch me sometimes and you know mosquito bites we're in Africa like there are mosquitoes here when they bite me they leave marks and they, it heals with hyperpigmentation so obviously I protect myself with repellents and I wear protective clothing and stuff like that sometimes you can't really prevent these things so that's why I'm so hyped about hyperpigmentation and fading hyperpigmentation so this is not like a bleaching skin bleaching video no i definitely do not support skin bleaching in any way bleaching your skin can destroy your skin barrier and can also lead to cancer i just felt like i should put that out there the next thing i like to do is to get into the shower this is when we are going to get into the actual routine i use an african sponge to cleanse my skin to wash my body this is what it looks like a net like cloth and it's really great at cleaning the body thoroughly i like to leave the bathroom feeling squeaky clean 
clean usually at the end of the day i'm sticky and hot and just really really uncomfortable so i really want to cleanse my skin so much and the first step i take when i enter the shower is to pre-cleanse my body i know it sounds crazy right this is what i like to use you guys hear about pre-cleansing like your face taking off your makeup and stuff like that so i like to pre-cleanse my body before i start my routine it's a lot it's crazy Mufida, you're doing too much some of you might say that but girl this is me this is what i like to do i like to put in the work for my skin so if you want to do that fine if you find that it's too much for you just skip it it, it doesn't it's no problem with it i don't have a problem with you if you skip it it's, it's fine depends on you i'm gonna give you guys options i like to pre-cleanse my skin and i like to go in with like a bar soap like a cake soap these are currently my favorite ones and this is what i'm using at this point in time it's called the Dettol even tone soap this is antiseptic and antibacterial soap so it just cleans your body thoroughly like it just takes off the sweat the sunscreen the excess oils and stuff like that it's really really amazing and i really like it because it's even tone it's gonna help with evening out your skin tone and i also like it because it's antiseptic it's gonna kill off any germs that you have on your body so that is great but what i do is i just take this and i just put it in my sponge just like this make it wet and it really lathers a lot you know it has a lot of lava to it so I just rub it in my sponge and I go ahead and clean my body with it my entire body from my neck behind my ears not my face behind my ears the back of my neck my chest underneath my boobs my armpits my elbows my knees the back of my arms the back of my thighs my bum my feet my legs and I love this because you can easily clean your back with it so I just do this and then So let me just give you guys options as to what you can use to pre-cleanse your skin. I really like bar soaps, like soaps like the Dettol soap that I showed you. So any antiseptic soap that you can get your hands on. If you're not into antiseptic soaps, if you have like extra dry skin and you're just looking for something to just cleanse your skin, this is the Dove Sensitive Skin Bar Soap. This is also amazing at pre-cleansing the skin. It just leaves you feeling squeaky clean. Also, this is the Pears Soap. I I know it's popular because people use it to do soap brows but this is a really really amazing pre-cleansing body soap and I really really like it so yeah um, when I finish cleaning my body and you know scrubbing off all the grime from the day the sweat the extra oils the sunscreen I go ahead and rinse it all off my body and I rinse out my sponge as well so the next thing that I do is to if it's an exfoliation night like a night that I want to like really deep clean my skin what i like to do is to use my natarium kp scrub and mask this is an aha bha pha body exfoliator there are so many other options out there you can pick and choose whatever you can afford this is one of my personal favorites i really really like it so what i do is while my body is a little bit damp like slightly you know wet because i just you know rinsed off the antibacterial soap like my pre-cleanse i go ahead and i use this and you know scrub my body i especially focus at the back of my thighs and my legs and I just go ahead and you know scrub parts of my body just to make sure that I'm exfoliating those places as well I also do in between my thighs my knees my elbows my feet I leave the scrub to sit on my body for probably five minutes and I go ahead and I take care of my feet I'm extra I know I'm extra but yeah, yeah. if you're like me and you have a genuine fear of going to get your feet done every time getting regular pedicures I get my toes done when I feel like I want to when I'm feeling extra when I want to do like some extra self-care but on a daily basis or every other day I like to scrub my feet with a pumice stone if you don't know what a pumice stone is this is what a pumice stone looks like and it's really abrasive that's what I use to clean my feet my heels underneath my feet generally your feet can just have a buildup of dead skin skin is gonna look flaky and hard so to have soft feet you can go ahead and get your hands on a pumice a stone what i like to do is to use this dr bronner's pure castile soap i like this one because it has a citrus scent i also use this to wash my locks like a pre-cleanse for my locks before actually going with shampoo or whatever but yeah i make this wet and i pour a little bit of the castile soap on my pumice stone and i go ahead and scrub my feet my heels my toes i just make sure i'm scrubbing all you know the excess dead skin off so i do this every night or every other night so yeah this is what i like to do while i 
I leave the scrub to sit on my skin. So I go ahead and rinse off my body, rinse the scrub off my skin and you know rinse my feet as well and then the next thing I like to do is to go in with my Natarium the Smoothener Glycolic Acid Body Wash. This gently exfoliates my skin and it's really really helped with fading out the body hyperpigmentation that I have. Because it has glycolic acid in it and most of these have actives that make your skin sensitive to sunlight that's why I suggested that you end up using this routine if you're gonna be getting these products or trying out this routine at night where you are in the comfort of your room and you don't have to go into the sun what I do is as usual I make it wet I put a few squirts of this in my sponge you know make it lather and then I go all over my body washing from behind my ears the back of my neck my back my arms my thighs in between my legs my feet I some people don't wash their legs I don't know how true that is but if you're one of those girls please wash your legs because it's really really important that you wash your legs don't forget to clean this side of your body whilst you wash your arms just go this way your armpits and then you go down this way make sure you are getting in between the love handles and cleaning that effectively so you don't have any problems over there when I finish you know washing my body I go ahead and rinse that off and then rinse my sponge off as well <laughs> if I'm feeling extra after I have thoroughly rinsed off the glycolic acid of my body the next step I like to take is to go in with my Ole nine time rinse off body conditioner this is the one with b3 and retinol i really really like this because if i'm feeling a little bit dry like while my skin is wet i go ahead and put a few squirts of this into my palms rub it in and then go all over my body with it from you know the neck down i just rub a generous amount of this and i just rinse it off this leaves my skin feeling so soft baby soft and it instantly replenishes the moisture but yeah if I'm feeling a little bit extra that's what I do but sometimes I just don't go in with body conditioner I just you know wipe my body off and I'm out of the bathroom so the next thing that I like to do first thing that I actually do when I come out of the shower if I didn't shave that night I go in with my ultra vanish PBF triple action skin lightening and post hair removal serum it says it corrects heals and brighten the skin it's like a roll-on and during the night I don't use deodorants i rub this under my armpits and you know all the areas that i have hyperpigmentation that is actually really tough to clear so under my armpits in between my thighs my knees my elbows and i just leave it to dry down and yeah the next step i like to take is to go in with a body serum i've showed you guys numerous body serums that i have but i like to use this body retinol from paula's choice so what i do is i go in with a few pumps of this and i go all over my body with it you know from the neck down the next step that I like to take is to go ahead and use a body oil to seal in the serum you guys can tell right I really love this oil <laughs> it's amazing this is the Avino skin relief body oil spray it has oat oil and jojoba oil and it's clinically proven to intensely moisturize smooth and even skin in just one week I like this body oil so much this is how much I've used of it so I just go in with a few squirts of this and I go all over over my body with it I know we haven't spoken about the feet but do not neglect your feet what I like to do is I go in with this Eucerine urea repair plus this is a 10% urea foot cream it's a really 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 thick moisturizer for the feet and it really really does leave my skin feeling baby soft afterwards anyways I just go in with a little bit of this and I rub it in my palms and I go ahead and rub that on my feet especially my heels so that they feel nice and soft you know just because I exfoliated them I just need to make sure that they are moisturized so the last step if you are a girl who likes to smell sweet in the night if you want to smell sweet if you have a partner you have a husband or whatever you want to smell sweet while you go to bed let me just show you guys what I use so I have three options I have the Brazilian crush Cherosa 71 from Sol de Janeiro I love how it smells the next one is the Japanese cherry blossom as you can see I've gone through a lot of it, it also smells really fresh the last one i want to show you guys is pink sugar it is divine oh, it's actually the sweetest smell i own like the sweetest if you don't like sweet scents please don't go for this because this will literally have you smelling like cotton candy all night <laughs> 
if you guys want to see like a fragrance haul or my most complimented fragrances let me know i also suggest that you do this routine probably an hour or an hour and a half before you get into bed so the products have the time to absorb into your skin and you don't go into your bed feeling oily or having all your products be absorbed into your sheets that's what i suggest one last thing if you end up using these products if you have actives in your body routine please invest in a body sunscreen that is going to be protecting your skin during the day especially if you show a lot of skin please protect your skin because your skin is going to be sensitive to the sun and you are going to have like a relapse of hyperpigmentation on your skin if you do not protect your skin from the sun please give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next one thank you so much for hanging out with me today bye guys